Hello everybody, Kelvin here and I've created a quick topology just to show those interested how multi-link PPP works point to point. Now I'm about approximately halfway through CCNA's semester 4 curriculum on NetACAD and I've just recently come across the multi-link PPP and I were a bit curious as to how it works so I've just thrown two routers into GNS3 um, hooked up two serial links um, between both of them and we're going to configure multi-link PPP <laughs> I've also put some benefits on the side here just a few points so it spreads traffic across multiple one links which is good um, you know so when you send in um, packets from router 1 to router 2 here in this topology it can send the data across multiple links and what that does is it's it's like it says it provides packet fragmentation and reassembly so it breaks down the packets to send them across the links then reassemble reassembles them um, at the at the other end and the last one there is multi-vendor support so you don't really need to use just Cisco devices or just one one vendor neutral um, device to um, configure multi-link PPP so that's that's always good to know so I've put an IP address on here or a subnet and this will be configured on the multi-link and not on the actual serial interfaces so we're gonna go ahead and I think I've got it open here there we go and we're gonna we'll start with router one so we've got um, interface serial zero zero we're going to change the encapsulation to PPP and we'll do PPP multi-link and that activates the multi-link and we'll do PPP multi-link group because we've got to put in a group so we'll just go with group one then last but not least we'll do a no shutdown on that and we'll move over to interface serial zero one and we'll do the same again so encapsulation PPP PPP multi-link so that activates the multi-link again PPP multi-link uh, group 1 and again no shutdown there so that's those interfaces done so if we do a show interface no, show PPP multi-link sorry then we've got no active links because we still need to create although we've um, put the two serial interfaces into a multi-link group we still need to actually go in and configure the multi-link so to do that we'll do a back into global config and we'll do interface multi-link one and we'll do IP address ten zero 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 dot one oops two five five two five five two five five two four eight and we'll do a no shutdown so that should activate that now on this side so if we can see there it's still saying inactive because that's the we aren't activated the connecting um, router router 2 yet so we've got both serial 00 and uh, serial 01 in there now however it's still showing as in inactive so what we'll do is we'll jump across to router 2 and we'll configure the same on that side so comt in the first serial 00, zero encapsulation ppp ppp a link. I'm just going to fly through this because you've already seen me do it. By all means, feel free to pause the video. Multi link group one. No shutdown. Interface zero zero one. And I'll just up arrow these. Uh, I need to do encapsulation. Whoopsie. PPP, then we'll do PPP multi link, then 
we shall put it in group one again and no shutdown on that interface as well so we'll just do a, on this router two we'll do a show run so we can see that we've got them in the groups there both of them here sitting in the groups however if we do show PPP multilink again because we haven't cre created the actual multilink group yet and assigned um, the IP um, that won't be there won't be no multilink there so we'll go ahead and we'll do that so global conf uh, global sorry drop some then <laughs> So let's carry on. So where were we? There we go. So interface multi-link one. Then we'll do. There we go. So the links have already come up now, which is good. So we'll do an IP address of ten zero 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 ten zero zero two two five five two five five two five five two four eight and we don't need to apply the no shutdown because it's changed the state to up so if we do a show ppp multi-link we can see now that we have the bundles so bundle name is r1 um, so it's picking up that from router one we have the interfaces member links too active now so they're not non-inactive which is good both of the interfaces are in there so that's pretty much it really so if we do a ping to 10001 successful which is good and we'll do it from there which will obviously work and that's it so that's pretty much in a nutshell multi-link PPP as I say, I did this video really because I've just come across it and I'm a bit curious as to how it worked. So I thought it'd be beneficial to do a, a short video on what multi-link PPP is, especially for those that haven't come across it yet. So I hope you enjoyed that. Any questions, you know, feel free to get at me. But thanks for watching.